The STS-51L was the 25th flight of the Space Shuttle fleet and the 10th flight for the Challenger. The launch has been delayed several times. From its original launch in July 1985, it was moved to November of the same year, and then it was delayed to the 22nd of January 1986, and another delay for the last time would prevent the shuttle from launching until the 28th. The night before the launch, concerns were raised by engineers about the unusually cold temperatures in Cape Canaveral, which dropped to 18 degrees Fahrenheit and its potential damage to the solid rocket booster's O-rings, which are critical components of the shuttle's solid rocket boosters used to secure the segments of the SRB. However, NASA management pressed ahead with the launch. The pressure to meet the launch schedule and maintain public interest in the space program clouded judgment, leading to a fatal decision to go ahead with the mission. The crew of the Challenger was a diverse group of astronauts, each with their own unique backgrounds and contributions to the mission. Commander Francis Scobie led the mission, with pilot Michael J. Smith by his side. The mission specialists included Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka and Judith Resnick, while payload specialist Gregory Jarvis and teacher Krista McAuliffe represented the civilian contingent. This would be the second spaceflight for SCOBY, Onizuka, Resnick and McNair. While this would be the first flight for Smith, Jarvis and McAuliffe. They were not just astronauts, they were pioneers, ready to push the boundaries of human exploration. It'll take a few minutes for the we will be displaying different angles of the launch, as well as details as it happens to give you a better perspective on the ascent and failure of the Space Shuttle Challenger. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start, 4, 3, two, one, and liftoff, liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight, 104%. We'll throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles, downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Engines throttling up, 3 engines now at 104%. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. 1 minute 15 seconds, velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink.
We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. Contingency procedures are in effect. Uh, Thank you for watching my documentary. Help me grow my channel by licking the video and subscribing to the channel. See you next time.